All right, this is my new percussion instrument. I was watching a video on YouTube and I was watching a guy play a cigar box guitar and he was using a odd foot percussion instrument, which I thought was really cool. So I attempted to build one and now I have one. I'm going to demonstrate it as my electric cigar box, as my acoustic cigar box. Uh, there's my Kanjo. These are the only three I haven't sold. I kept these for myself. But now I have something to give me a backbeat when I'm playing. I'm just going to have to master it. This thing's pretty cool. Take your foot. You can get lots of different sounds out of it. So annoying. So are you, Austin. Or I could do this. Now it's just catching the lid there. Now you can go. Let's try to do a beat. I still got to get used to the sensitivity of the pedal that I made. Now I'll show you how I made it. Now I made this also, which is sitting inside this box. This is called a percussion box. This is basically just a um, couple of caps taped together. They're metal caps from bottles. And inside just put a bunch of screws, nails, little things, whatever I could find gives it a rattle. So... Now I take that and I put that right here. Now I'm going to get a whole nother sound out of it. All right. And I can sit right in there when I'm done with it. Let me take it out right now. I'm going to show you how I did this. It's a cigar box bottom. There's a gunnel, which is a piece of wood going through something like on a ship or a small boat. That's screwed in from that side, from underneath, which I'm going to add a felt bottom to. It'll help it grip surfaces. It's going to be a thick felt grip. Um, so your base is coming from this large can of pork with juice. <laughs> um and right here you just have some regular tongs that's wire tied there because i couldn't really screw into it it is screwed in there though and it keeps it pretty good plus it's glued so i'm gonna make it look prettier too we're gonna paint this up and make it look nice i did add a spoon in there i was gonna do two spoons and make it like you're playing spoons but then I wouldn't have been able to add the can, which was an idea that came to me later. This was originally supposed to be the bottom, which is why it has these nuts with springs on it. But it kept springing up a little too much. I didn't like it, so I just turned it around. But I left them in there because they're holding that spoon, which does give it a sound I like. It's just a stirring spoon, you know, for mixing drinks uh, that I screwed into there. So that's it. I mean, it's just kitchen hardware and kitchen scrap and... You know, an old cigar box. And now I've got a foot percussion instrument. So when I'm playing my cigar box guitar, or any guitar for that matter, um, if I want a little backbeat, a little foot action, like while I'm strumming, you know, do, 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 so there you go. Yeah, it sounds like crap because you ain't hearing it with the other music. And it's got four different sounds. And then again with the rattle. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool.
<laughs> yep. And I've seen people make as many as 12 of these. One's enough for me. I got four sounds. I'm happy. I'll figure out ways to use the same one and get different sounds. And I'm going to paint it up and make it look like I want it to look. All right. Later.